Hello again, YTPC. Good to see everybody back. As always, beautiful morning out here, northern Illinois, Rockford, Illinois. Um, real active morning. Squirrels, they're all over the place. I'm sitting outside the garage. Generally, they get fed in the garage. I've seen like three different ones go in the garage. I thought they were going to go after my stash in there. They didn't find it. I had to chase one out. I'm smoking my Savinelli 520 Roma Lucite pot in it. This is getting pretty low. Solani H. Burley Flake. I'm going to have to break into the new tins I just got. Sat out here last night, probably for an hour, waiting for the sunset smoking this. I had a really nice, low-key tobacco buzz going. It was great. Uh, I decided today to not only get my vitamin N, but my vitamin D. I think that's what you get, right? Ultraviolet light? I don't know. I was teetering on titling this video today, you know, putting a a warning on it. Because we, I was going to talk, cover a little more about the uh, fiasco going on with the uh, New York case against President Trump. Um, I'm not going to, um, just because I'm seeing an increase, and these aren't all channels. Actually, none of them are channels that I'm sub to, but people complaining in the YTPC about content uh, that certain creators are putting out. It doesn't have anything to do with pipe smoking, all that. Um, I'll refrain, but there's a lot of things I would like to say about it. Um, all I'll say is... Don't put too much stock into what you're seeing being reported about this. Um, that's all I'll really say. Uh, a few minutes before I started recording, FedEx delivered to the neighbor. Hold on a second. Garbage truck. It's going to be loud. Good job there. Recycle truck. Anyway, as I was saying, FedEx delivered to this neighbor over here. Then he proceeded to back out and knocked my neighbor across the street's mailbox completely off. I mean, the post snapped. And he proceeded to just drive. And I know it was loud. He knew he did it. He just drove away. Like, really? Don't worry, I'll report to the neighbor what happened. They just left like 15 minutes before it happened. Of course. I know he knew he did it because he heard the, the noise and he stopped. And then pulled forward and stopped and saw what he did and then, whoop. Um, I don't know exactly what they could do about that. I, I figure, I looked at my watch. It's like, okay, it was 10 to 11. I'm sure that if they wanted to, they could contact FedEx and they know exactly who delivered to this house. Um, it's just sad. <laughs> I mean, it's an accident. But, I mean... Man, as I continue to smoke this stuff, it's just, I'm so pissed that I didn't know about this, like, years ago. <laughs> I've been smoking it for so long. So I saw a couple videos yesterday talking about Karibi lighters. Now, I want everybody's opinion on if you have these type of lighters, cap lighters, whether it's 
Karibi, Corona, old boy, Peterson. What's your opinion on him? Um, this gentleman, he was having issues with it leaking. And it was like, oh God, it was like three months past the warranty. The warranty is like two years on these. And it started leaking and he literally said he was sitting down with his... He knew it was starting to leak fluid because he'd have to fill it to a lot more often than he ever did before. He said it would last like two weeks and it started where he was having to fill it like inside of a week. And uh, he was sitting down smoking with a friend of his. They were smoking, his buddy was smoking a cigar, he was smoking his pipe. And the fucking thing caught on fire. Excuse my French, I'm sorry. I probably use that word too much, but um, it is irritating. This thing here, I'm having issues with it. I can actually send this back, and I probably will. It's still under warranty. I don't know if I need anything. If I do, then I'm probably screwed because I didn't keep, like, the receipt. Um, but I had it on my lap one day. And I stood up, so it literally fell like two feet. Landed on the garage floor. And this top plate right here was loose. I'm like, okay. I was looking at it. I don't know if you could see it, but there's a little screw. A little Phillips head screw. It was just loose, so I tightened it up. Now, look at how that, it's not right. It burns like in the middle. Hard to light my pipe with it. I'm assuming it's from what happened to it. And it now it, it doesn't, doesn't seem to work right. It takes quite a few strikes sometimes to get it to light. I paid over $100 for that. And it kind of irritates me. Um... Are they solidly built? Yes. I mean, they're, they're, but, and it, it still works, but it just doesn't work to the, the way I think that it's designed to work. I'm wondering if anyone else has issues with Karibi lighters. Like I said, I will look into sending it back. Hopefully they'll send me a new one or I get some of the money back. I don't know if I get some money back. I won't buy another one of these. I'll probably get a, maybe a Corona or a, I was smoking with a younger gentleman at the pipe show and he had one of Peterson's and uh, I was looking at it and uh, he said he's dropped that thing. He drives a truck, semi truck. He said he's dropped that from his window. You know, that's a good eight foot. He said he never had a problem with it. So I didn't. That would have probably destroyed this thing. Um, yeah. So how's everybody doing today? It's going to be a good day for me. Weather is very nice. Um, I think we're only supposed to have a high in the upper 50s it was 70 lower 70s yesterday um the wife before she left the house today she's like well it's supposed to rain i don't see it raining today there ain't a cloud in the sky no wind um you know weather conditions like this is what creates like what my buddy rock and study likes to call a nirvana smoke it's just like it's just so pleasant. Um, yeah, because of that lighter issue, kind of going back to using my, my insert, I didn't like it at first, but it don't work too bad. And it lights. Um, 
I've had a few of my subs tell me, ah, oh, you can't go wrong with Flint. Yeah, you can't go wrong with Flint, but I got... I got a lot of people saying that they've had, like, regular Zippo lighters last for years. I have one that I've only had a year and a half. Flint pipe lighter. Pipe thing. And, uh, I put a Flint in it, and it's it won't strike. It's like the wheel is screwed up already. So I might have to buy a new insert or just a new lighter if I want to, you know, not a butane insert. Oh, the problems. They're just so terrible, you know? Trying to keep it lit. I don't think I'm gonna. So from the work work realm, still have still haven't heard anything. Um, looking like I'll be home the rest of this week probably. We'll go some. We'll be getting some sent somewhere next week. Still hoping on the Miami trip. Um, never done this before, but my lead has told me he has. Uh, it's a three day trip. Our flight back, we can take any time. It's not like we have to take it as soon as the, the work's completed. We might just, like, stretch this three-day trip into a seven-day trip and fly to our next job, if that's possible. So, I'll be gone longer. I'll have to pack accordingly. But it's worth doing once. I want to see how it, you know, I don't know if I will like being, you know, gone away from home that long because you're talking over two weeks but well over two weeks we'll see mm. man I don't know how many of you if you've ever smoked Solani H. Burley Flake get the dark sugar molasses. It's just like right there for me. That's why I like it so much. Brown sugary molasses, what I get. Um, I don't know too many blends that you get that, to be honest with you. It's really good. Um, I stayed in a little bit earlier. I sat out here last night, enjoyed the sunset. Um, I haven't been doing that much just due to, well, the weather basically kind of dictates that. It was just warm enough when the sun started going down. It started cooling down. But uh, I was dressed like this, went and got this on, and a stocking cap, and it wasn't bad. I'll probably try to do that a lot more often. Sorry about that. Wife called. You know the, uh, how that goes. Completely forget what I was even talking about. That's okay. Um, anyway, yeah, so I don't know what you all think of these butane inserts um yeah at first didn't like it at all it's starting to grow on me you kind of it's a learning curve you just kind of have to adjust how you light your pipe i guess um yeah just kind of thinking also about a way to start a a different way to run the channel so like yesterday I'm, I'm going to start smoking aromatics on Tuesdays um, maybe kind of continue with that with uh, <coughs> um, smoking maybe 
Burley's a certain day, Virginia's on another certain day. Uh, I don't know. Still in the planning stages. Um, that would be a good way, though, to enjoy different tobaccos and also present them to people you know. Um, probably happen eventually. Um, that's really probably more than what I was even thinking I was going to cover. Um, like I said, it's going to be a beautiful day. I will be out here quite a bit today. Um, probably finish up this jar. Fill that back up. Um, but uh, anyway, thought I'd pop on, see how everyone is doing, as I always do. Um, looking forward to seeing all of my subscribe, my loyal subscribers come back and hear from them, as I do every day. Um, if you have not subscribed to the channel, if you like the content, please subscribe. And uh, till next time, keep them lit.